Hi everyone, today we are going to make the obstacle avoiding smart robot car and we are going to use the previous assemble tool in smart robot car and also we are going to write the code. Now let's start. Now this is a wiring diagram. You have to connect the Arduino board and the ultrasonic sensor and the servo motor and the L2918 motor drive like this way. Now I'm going to use the previous assembled two wheel smart robot car and the ultrasonic sensor and the servo mode. Now you can click in the link in the description below to how to assemble the two wheel smart robot car. Now I'm going to take my ultrasonic sensor and the servo mode. Then I'm going to take my hot glue gun and put some hot glue on the servo motor. Then I'm going to paste it on the two wheel smart robot car. Then when it's done, it should be like this way. Now I'm going to connect the L2918 motor drive to the Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the yellow jump wire and connect to the 8 pin in my Arduino board. Then the green jump wire is going to be connected to the 9 pin in my Arduino board. Then the blue jump wire is going to be connected to the 10 pin in my Arduino board. Then the purple jump wire is going to be connected to the 11 pin in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to connect the ultrasonic sensor to the Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the green jump wire and connect it to the ground in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the trigger pin and connect it to the 12 pin in my Arduino board. Then I'm going to take the echo pin and connect it to the 13th pin in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to connect the server motor to the Arduino board. Now I'm going to take two jump wires. Then I'm going to connect the blue jump wire to the signal pin in the servo motor. Then I'm going to take the purple jump wire and connect it to the ground pin in the servo motor. Then I'm going to take the purple jump wire and connect it to the ground pin in the Arduino board. Now I'm going to take the blue jump wire and connect it to the 7th pin in my Arduino board. Now I'm going to connect the power supply of the L2918 motor drive. Now I'm going to take the black jump wire and connect it to the ground pin in my Arduino board. Now I have taken the red jump wire and connect lots of jumper wires to it because I can connect to any module. Now I am going to take the red jump wire and connect it to the VCC in my Arduino board. Then I am going to take the white jump wire and connect it to the VCC in my Arduino board. Then I am going to take the red jump wire and connect it to the ultrasonic sensor VCC. Then I'm going to take another red jump wire and connect it to the servo motor. Can you see this? When it's finished, it should be like this way. Now let's write the code. Now I am including the servo library. Then I am including the new pin library. Now I'm going to define my pins. Now I am defining left pin 1 8, 
then left pin to 9 then right pin 1 10 then right pin to 11 then I am defining the trigger pin the trigger pin is 12 because I have connected to the 12 pin in my Arduino board then I am defining echo pin the echo pin has been connected to the 13 pin in my Arduino board now I am writing define server pin 7 because I have connected the server pin to the 7th pin in my Arduino board then I am writing a variable distance then I am making object my sensor the object's name then in the brackets I am writing trigger pin echo pin then I am making a new object my server Now in the void setup, I am writing the pin mode. Now I am writing pin mode left pin 1 output because it is an output. Then I am writing pin mode left pin 2 output. Then I am writing pin mode right pin 1 output then I am writing again pin mode right pin 2 output now I am writing my server dot attach server underscore pin i have connect the server pin to the seventh pin now i am writing my server dot write 70. then i am putting a delay for one second then i am writing distance equal my sensor dot ping underscore centimeter that means read centimeter then put the value to distance variable then put in a delay for 200 millisecond then again write in distance equal my sensor dot ping underscore centimeter now i have to write the code in the void loop but i am not gonna write the code in the void loop now but i am gonna write the code later now i'm going to write a function the function's name is left right the return type is char now i am going to write two integer variables the two integer variables are left right now i am writing my server dot write 120 Then I am putting a delay for 500 millisecond. Then I am writing left equal my sensor dot ping underscore centimeter. That means read centimeter then put it into the left variable. Then I am writing my server dot write 20. Then I am putting a delay for 500 millisecond. Then I am writing right equal my sensor dot ping underscore centimeter that means read centimeter then put it into the right variable then i am writing my server dot write seven now i am writing if condition 
the if condition is if left is higher than right return l otherwise return r Now I am going to write the functions. There are five functions. The five functions are forward, back, left, right and stop. But I am not going to explain those because I have done those in the previous videos. And you can click in the link in the description below to watch those videos and learn.
then i am writing a if condition in the void loop the if condition is if the distance is lower than 20 cm it has to stop then i am calling the stop function then i am calling the back function then i am putting a delay for 500 millisecond then i am calling the stop function then i am writing a if condition then i am calling the left right function if the returning value is same as l Then I am calling left function. Otherwise, I am calling right function. Then I am putting a delay for 300 milliseconds. Now I am writing the else part. Else means if the distance is greater than 20 cm, it has to go forward. Now I am calling the forward function. Now I am writing distance equal my sensor dot ping underscore centimeter. That means read centimeter then put it into the distance variable. Now I'm gonna upload it. Uploading. Uploading is done, no errors. Now let's see how does it works. Now you can see it avoids obstacles in front of it. I think it will help you to learn about Arduino programming. If you like this video, please support my channel. It really really does help. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.